Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Sometimes you want to email a file to a person. To send a person an electronic copy of a file in an email, you must send it as an attachment. For example, if you had to email a copy of your budget you recorded in Excel to your manager, you could insert a copy of the Excel workbook into an Outlook email as an attachment. If the manager also had Excel, they would then receive the email in Outlook with the Excel file attachment, which they could open in Excel to view the information you sent. To insert an attachment into an email in Outlook, click the Attach File button in the Include button group on either the Message or Insert tab of the ribbon in the Message window. At that point, a drop-down menu appears. At the top of the drop-down menu is a list of the recent items you have opened. To attach a recent item, click its name in the recent items list to attach it to the message. Alternatively, you can also send an attachment to an online file as either a link or as a copy. Doing this attaches either a link to the file or a copy of the file. Sending an online file link lets multiple people view or edit the file online at the same time depending on the level of file access given. This makes for smaller emails which don't require recipients to download the file to view or edit it. Alternatively, you can also choose to send a static copy of the file to them, which doesn't allow for online collaboration or let them view real-time changes, but which does show the file's information at the time you send the copy. To attach a file from a web location in Outlook, like OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, or files shared in an Office 365 group, Click the Attach File button in the Include button group on either the Message or Insert tab of the ribbon in the Message window. Then roll over the Browse Web Locations command in the drop-down menu. To share a file saved to a OneDrive account, then click the OneDrive link in the side menu that appears which reflects the OneDrive storage account to use. To share files from groups created in Office 365 of which you are a member, you may also roll over the Group Files command in the side menu and then click the name of the group from the next side menu that appears. Either way, an Insert File dialog box then opens and shows the files and folders for the selected online location. Find the file to attach and click it to select it. Then click the Insert button in this dialog box to open a How do you want to attach this file dialog box. To share the file as a link, click the Share Link button. Alternatively, to share a copy of the file, click the Attach as Copy button. Outlook then shares or downloads the file as needed and adds the attachment to the email. However, note that the person receiving a link to a shared online file must have a Microsoft account or associated organization account for Microsoft or Office 365. If they do not, they will receive an additional email that says to view the attached file name, sign in or create an account. You also cannot share links to files for which you don't have the required organizational access or sharing permissions. To change the level of access for an attached online file, click the drop-down arrow to the right of the attachment below the subject line in the message window. Then roll over the Change Permissions command and then select from the side menu of choices that appears, which can vary based on the location and permissions of the linked online file's location. To remove an attachment from an email, click the drop-down arrow to the right of the attachment below the subject line in the message window. Then select the Remove Attachment command from this drop-down menu. Alternatively, to attach a local file from your computer or network to an Outlook email, Click the Attach File button in the Include button group on either the Message or Insert tab of the ribbon in the Message window. Then click the Browse This PC command in the drop-down menu to open the Insert File dialog box. Navigate to the file's location on your computer in this dialog box and click it to select it. Then click the Insert button in the dialog box to add the file as an attachment. After attaching the files, complete the email by selecting the recipients and typing its subject and body as needed. To send the email with its attached files, click the Send button in the message window. 
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.